Hello everyone. Welcome once again to another tutorial of Power BI DAX. In this example, we will discuss about previous year, previous month, previous quarter, day, etc. type of queries in Power BI. In Power BI, to calculate previous month and previous year sales is a common requirement for time-based comparison. So we will try to calculate sales of previous month, sales of previous year. And here is an example. So, assume we have following columns in our sales table that is, order date and sales amount. So, in the previous examples, also the table that we used for year to date, month to date, and similar type of uh, calculations, previous uh, same period last year, the function that we did. The same table we will take here also, the same example. And in that example, we have order date and sales amount. So, previous sales, uh, previous month is a function. This function returns a table. So, you have to understand which function returns what. So, this function returns a table containing of all dates from previous month based on the current context. Okay. So similarly, previous month sales will be calculate sum of total, uh, the sales amount that is the total sales of previous month in the date table that we created. So let's go to Power BI. So for analysis like this, we dynamically create a date table first. This date table creates you know dates within a range. So this is what we have created. This is for reference and this is the actual table. So in actual table, we have information of order ID, order date, sales amount and category. So on every day, you may or may not have a sale. So that's why this date table is there to give you a list of every day. Okay. So as we have data of 2023 and 2024, so we generated a table with the help of calendar function and we generated dates between 1st January 23 to 31st December 24. Okay. It also depends upon fiscal year and different type of cases but in order to understand this we have done this part. Now once you have that what you have to do is now we will create a measure that will calculate know sale in previous month so formula i have already written i will provide link of this resource also so that you can copy this formula and everything now let's go to power bi and here uh, just write let's go to modeling create a new measure and create this okay so this particular thing over here is a table. This is a table. All of this is a table. And it will contain dates of previous year months as per the context. And it will calculate sum of sales, sales amount. Okay. When you will do this, it will give us previous you know, month sales. What we are going to do is, let's delete this from uh, date table model and click on our sales table and in sales table we will create this measure. So it is very important because we want to find out the sum of sales from sales table. So now we will create this. Okay? Now in this table we have this measure and by default, when, uh, let's drag two cards here which we have been doing previous videos also. This is previous month sales and this is total sales which will come as same value right now because in this context it is all the same thing. Now what we have to do is we will build a table here. Okay, So let's build a table and in this table what we will do now, how can we use this? Okay. So, first we load the data. 
which we have already done. Then we create the date table, which we already have done. So we have the date table and the sales table. And then we go to relationship tab and we relate this date with this. Right? So we will click on this and we will hold control. and make a relation like this. So just hold control and drag the column which you want to list so which you want to link with other column and just add it. So we have add the, uh, we have done the, this for the same thing in previous examples also which you can see. So now we have made a relationship between order date of sales and date table. So this is the third step. Okay. Now we have this uh, relationship in place. Now, now create measures and the previous sales and previous year sales measure. The previous month sales we have already done. Now we will do previous year sales. So previous year sale and previous month sale is nothing but the same thing. There's the you know there's the period is changed. So it will generate previous year. If you will write previous year. We will write previous year. We will see previous day, previous month, previous quarter, previous year. We can calculate it for any particular time period. And similarly, we will create previous year sales. So now we have this. Okay. So we have previous year sales, previous month sales, total sales, order date, and sales. Now, in order to visualize this in table and line chart, we will do the table example. So, we have to create a table with following columns. We should have order date, sales amount, previous month sales and previous year sales. Okay. So, we have a table. So, one by one we will drag these columns, order date. Okay. We will drag order date. We will drag sales amount. And that's why I have given those instructions and now as a video instruction you are already getting them. And the previous month and previous years. So this is how you can add columns to your table. Okay. And here you can see. Let me zoom this for you. Remember, creating a relationship is very important for this to work. What I can do is, in order to show it to you in a better way, I will export the data. So, here you can see we have the list of columns. So, we have previous month sale, previous year sale. Now, let's do one by one. Let's go one by one row. In the first row, sum of sales is 150. We don't have any context of previous sales, right? If you see the actual data, so you, ha you have values starting from 15th of January and before that we don't have any data. So that's why previous month sale is empty and for this entire year, that is 2023, the previous year sale will also be empty because we don't have this we don't have any previous year in the data right now in 10 1 2024 okay the previous month sale is empty and previous year sale is 3300 this 3300 is nothing but the sum of all those okay so we sorry sum of all this that is 3300 okay so sum of previous year in a similar way you can see in this month 15 to 24 last month sale was 700 so when it comes to 10 january in the last month should have been december of 23 and we don't have any data of december of 23 that's why a blank is coming so this is how previous month, previous year sales work and similarly you can try for yourself, similarly you can create 
example of previous quarter also you can try example of previous day also and you can put all together in a table view and analyze data like this as we are doing here okay now we can create another type of visual here so in this case what you have to do in order to analyze the same thing plot order date on the x axis and the sales amount previous month sale and previous year sales on the y axis then in the line chart you will be able to see all of this so let's uh, let's rename this to previous period data table so this will be table for us and later i will provide this complete power bi file to in, as a resource so that you can download it and see for yourself now we will create another visual here we will create a line chart in the line chart we will use this calculated dax uh, measures in the x axis in x axis we always have to put the date uh, so you have to remember this most uh, it should be a continuous thing and in order to analyze anything related to date a line chart is the best graph we have already explained in previous examples also and we created many dashboards now we will drag all of these into previous month previous year and sales amount okay so it will give you a data like this let's analyze right so this is a uh, sum of sales amount this light blue this is previous month sales and this is previous year sales which is a flat line uh, because of the obvious reason that we saw here it is the same value so this way you can visualize this in a line chart and this is a simple example of what we can do with these previous dax functions so i hope you understood the concept try for try it and see how it goes